What up, 2K fans? You know who it is. With every new NBA season, we get a new 2K, which always means new changes that we have to adapt to. So that means it's time for my NBA 2K23 Ultimate, Ultimate Dribbling, Dribbling Tutorial. Tutorial. So we've been playing 2K23 for a month. Now we know what actually works versus what might work in theory. This video will show you some great moves to create space or confuse your defender. The devs made a lot of changes, so we'll start with the basics and save the advanced moves for last. Signature size ups are a great way to set up your defender without losing any adrenaline boost. You can do these by simply tapping the right stick in various directions. The higher your ball handle and speed with ball, the faster you can pull these off. You can also lull your defender to sleep by tapping the right stick up repeatedly. This usually works against a real life opponent. Slowing the game down can sometimes relax the defense. Then you can tell teammates to cut back door and catch them slipping. You can also do a behind the back size up by simply tapping the right stick back left and back right repeatedly. Experimenting with different signature size ups gets you different moves with different players. While using Kyrie, tapping the right stick in this direction gets you his step through snatch back. And then we also have the between the legs size up crossover. You do this by tapping the right stick left and right repeatedly. If you time your size up animation properly, you can definitely speed boost out of them. And none of the size ups cost you any adrenaline boost. Just be mindful of your stamina. One of my favorite moves to do in 2K23 is the triple threat spin out. While standing before you dribble, rotate the right stick in a half circle in either direction. If you're a bigger player like LeBron, you can still get a good speed boost out of these animations. And if you have on Clamp Breaker, you can spin off your defender, shove him out of the way, and attack the basket. With the triple threat spin, you don't have to be that great of a ball handler. Notice how Ori stood no chance at stopping LeBron and ended up sacrificing his teammates. You can also do a step through spin move. Spins to the rack, he lays it in. Tapping the right stick up left or up right towards your defender will let you step through and then you can just spin off of him and have an easy way to the rim. There's lots of other things you can do out of a triple threat spin out. In this case, I hit him with the triple threat spin snatch back. After the spin, just simply tap down on the right stick. And as you can see with killer combos, this has stun potential. Notice how he gets stunned and I have ample space to hit the jump shot. Try this move to end games. Outside Durant. My favorite move to do out of the triple threat spin is the hop jumper. A player like Kevin Durant is almost unstoppable with a move like this. From downtown, gets the three ball to go. Durant. After the spin, hold the right stick back right or back left and get buckets on. Buckets on, buckets on. You can also do a hop jumper cancel out of the triple threat. This will usually create a lot of confusion and get you a huge speed boost. After the triple threat spin, while holding back right or back left on the right stick, just release before the shot. Try doing the triple threat spin hop jumper combo first a couple times, so this way when you do the cancel, you'll really fake out the defender. Now take a look at this running spin move and how it activates clamp breaker. While running towards your defender, simply rotate the right stick from your ball hand to your free hand. If you have on hyperdrive and clamp breaker gold, it'll make it very difficult for the defense to stop you. One of the most underrated moves is the hesitation crossover. Here we have AI versus MJ. 20 feet out, shot's good by Iverson. Tap the right stick left or right towards your ball hand. Then hold sprint and cross to your free hand. If your speed with ball and quick first step is high enough, you're gonna get a speed boost that most defenders can't stay in front of. The hesitation escape is another good way to create space that leads to a speed boost. Just simply hold sprint and tap the right stick towards your ball hand. By holding sprint and tapping the right stick up left or up right, you can do a crossover escape. A lot of people use this move to get themselves open for a jump shot or the space they need to blow by their defender. Now let's take a look at the in and out crossover. You want to tap the right stick up right or up left towards your ball hand. 
then hold sprint and cross over left or right. You can use this move to set your defender up for all kinds of attacks. Right there, I hit him with the spin jumper. How about the in and out crossover snatchback? Look at the space. The curry slide has made its return in 2K23. Just hold sprint and tap the right stick back right or back left towards your free hand. You'll either be open for a jumper or have a path to the rim. All new to 2K23 are the attacking crossovers. By simply holding sprint and tapping the right stick up right or up left towards your free hand, this move can literally launch you past your defender. Just look at how James Harden bullies Trey Young with this move. And yes, it has stun potential. So try equipping the killer combos badge with this one. Here's Mitchell. And this is Donovan Shot Mitchell's attacking crossover. And Mitchell with the slam. It can stun the defender, and it looks like a mini momentum dribble. And here's how it looks when I put the whole thing together on my my player. This one spread like a wildfire in 2K22. The drag snatchback. There's the drive, and he converts the light right there. Notice the speed boost you can get out of this move. Like a true slasher gets inside with. E Simply hold sprint, tap the right stick up, and then tap the left stick down. You can also move the left stick back slightly and tap the right stick up and get the same results. This one requires good timing, so make sure you practice. After doing the drag snatchback, speed boost out of it to get yourself open for jump shots. If you equip the basic moving spin dribble, you can do a rapid spin back move. While running or just dribbling towards your defender, rotate the right stick from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock very quickly. You can do this with or without sprint and almost anywhere on the court. Now we're going to talk about the snatchback dribbles. These can stun defenders and even break ankles. We just put Damian Lillard on skates. While sprinting forward, tap the right stick down or away from your defender. You'll get that snatchback animation and if you're in takeover, you might take his ankles. Another move that breaks ankles is the snatchback crossover. While running along the arc, tap the right stick right or left towards your free hand. Now let's talk about some of the great behind the back moves, starting with the double behind the back escape. To do this move, you hold sprint, tap the right stick down right and down left repeatedly towards your free hand. Then we have the explosive behind the back escape. If the ball's in your left hand, hold sprint, tap the right stick back right and the left stick upright, and then just repeat in reverse. One of my favorite combos is the explosive behind the back snatchback. Again, if the ball is in your left hand, hold sprint, tap the right stick back right, left stick upright, and then immediately tap the right stick down. Thankfully, the Jamal Crawford double behind the back dribble has been moved to the De'Aaron Fox signature size up. Just tap the right stick back right and back left repeatedly. You can even burst out of this move with an explosive behind the back dribble. Kyrie's fake behind the back is called the whoop de woo you can use this move to stun the defender and blow past him. All you have to do is hold sprint, tap the right stick back left towards your free hand, and immediately left stick up right towards your ball hand. Not everyone is as skilled as Kyrie Irving, so experiment with other players. Look what we get when we do this move with Ja Morant. Even really tall players can take advantage of a move like this. Another skill you should have in your bag is the driving behind the back move. This is one of the best ways to beat the help defender in a pinch. It'll also launch you towards the rim and give you an easy play at the basket. After you blow by your defender, tap the right stick back right or back left towards your free hand. In this gameplay, I'm using the Allen Iverson behind the back move. The Allen Iverson spinning crossover also makes a return in 2K23. You want to rotate the right stick in a half circle from 6 to 3 or from 3 to 6 o'clock. Then immediately hold sprint to make it faster and move the left stick in the opposite direction to get the crossover. Momentum dribbling is a staple in the 2K series. 
There's a couple ways to do this, but we're gonna stick with the basic. If the ball is in your left hand, you wanna hold sprint, tap the right stick upright, and tap the left stick upright, and then repeat in reverse. If you time this combination fast enough, you can spam the momentum dribble. All you do is repeat the momentum dribble command while never releasing sprint. The momentum dribble can lead to all kinds of combos. One of my favorites is the momentum explosive behind the back move. First you initiate the momentum dribble. Then while holding sprint, tap the right stick down right and tap the left stick upright. Another street favorite is the sham god dribble. This can be done while in a standing dribble or while running towards your defender. If the ball's in your right hand, hold sprint, tap the right stick right, then up left towards your free hand. And here's how it looks when you're running at the defense. Here he goes, and finished off. If you have on killer combos or ankle breaker badges, you can certainly stun the defender and potentially break his ankles. The behind the back misdirection move is one of the deadliest moves you can do in 2K23. Not only can this confuse your defender, but you can speed boost out of this animation and free yourself up for an open jump shot. If the ball is in your right hand while holding sprint, tap the right stick back left and then immediately tap the left stick to the right and reverse. As long as you're holding sprint, you can spam this animation. One of the best ways to catch your defender off guard is to speed boost out of the misdirection. If the ball's in your left hand, tap the right stick back right, then tap the left stick left and then right and hold. If you're trying to get open on the perimeter, this might be the best way to do it. And for some reason, 2K thinks it's legal to put James Harden's hop jumper cancel in the game. So let's go ahead and discuss this cheese. To do the hop jumper cancel, if the ball's in your right hand, you want to hold sprint and tap the right stick back right, and then simply release the right stick before he shoots it. You'll maintain your dribble, and this will absolutely throw off the defender, because it clearly looks like a travel. This is Allen Iverson's hop jumper cancel, and his actually made my top 10 plays of the week. Personally, I wouldn't show this move in my arsenal too early in the game. Might want to save this for the final bucket when the defender least expects it. To drop defenders to the ground with ankle breakers is not as easy as it was in past 2Ks. The best animations that break ankles are your snatchbacks, your crossover snatchbacks, your hop jumper cancels, and your spin jumpers. The ankle breaking shots takeover, along with Hall of Fame ankle breaker badge and Hall of Fame space creator give you the best chances at snapping ankles. So this concludes my ultimate dribbling tutorial. Let me know in the comment section if some of this helped you guys out. I know I stepped away for a little bit, but these kind of things take time. Keep in mind, I'm also only human, man. So if I made any mistakes, help me out in the comment section below. It's your boy Shake. Smack that like and subscribe. Click that bell for notifications for more top 10s, tips and tutorials, and highlights and build videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.